My name is Tessa Werning and I'm the co-founder of Fairphone. Nessie is really about uh, new economies and social innovation and Fairphone has been invited as a business to show how businesses are taking responsibility in how we can shape the economy. We want to make a phone to create impact in the supply chain of electronics. We want to have fairer materials, better working conditions, uh, long-lasting design and make sure that all the materials are used again and again. So our social enterprise is really about making an impact and I can tell you more about the phone, how it's different. Would you like that? Yeah? Okay. The Fairphone 2, uh, this is our second phone, was made to last for as long as possible and to make it possible for people to repair it themselves. So it's uh, durable, you can drop it uh, and it won't break so fast and if it does break you can open it. So this is a case, protective case, it's already part of the phone and you can see that the phone has a replaceable battery so if your battery is empty you, or doesn't work so much you can replace it. <laughs> Very simple but many phones are now closed so you cannot reach inside anymore. There are two SIM cards, so you can have your home number and your office number, or you can have another country number, so two phones in one. And if you take off the cover, we looked at what breaks most in a phone and how can we make it modular. So how can we make it uh, possible for people to replace broken parts so they do not have to replace the whole phone. So the screen often breaks because it's glass, it drops. And if you open these two uh, things here, you can slide off the screen and order a new screen online and replace the screen without having to change the whole phone. And it goes further. <laughs> There's another component here and here and here. This is the camera. If the camera breaks, then you can replace the camera. If the jack breaks, so a lot of things that break quick, maybe easily because they are, you know, you are going like this, then you can, as a consumer, you can do it yourself. And this is a nice uh, story. This is a map of the Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and it shows where some of the materials in your phone are mined. So it also connects you more to where your phone is made. Fairphone started as an uh, awareness raising campaign around the use of conflict minerals. So when we first started we said we need to raise awareness because these materials they come from places where the, the, the money goes to warlords and is a part of a, of a war economy. So many people are dying just to make our products. But raising awareness is not enough. So we thought we should make a phone and make an alternative. So the first focus for us, there are 40 materials in a phone, but we focused on the four conflict minerals, tin, tantalum, tungsten, and gold. And uh, tin and tantalum now are, come from the Congo. Uh, tungsten comes from Rwanda, and we set up a fair trade supply chain for gold from Peru. And it's a first step because the first problem is that no one can trace the materials back to the mine. So we need to trace the materials first and restart economic activity. And then the next step is to look at the health and safety issues, make sure they have the right tools and that there's local economies that can uh, start to grow again. So we have sourced four materials that we know exactly where but it's only a first step to make to improve the situation uh, in these places. So I think there's a there's definitely a movement, global movement that consumers want to know more about where their products come from. In Europe it started with um, the meat for example. There was a lot of problems around the food, the scandals that they didn't know it was horse meat but it was cow meat and people were upset because they they couldn't trust companies anymore. So in food and in clothing and in many different uh, industries, consumers are starting to ask companies for more transparency. And I think when it comes to electronics, 
it may be behind, but you can see that more people are becoming aware of the impact, the negative impact also of electronics, and they want to make sure that they have positive impact. So I think the movement will continue to grow. So even though the cultures are different, I noticed that uh, when it comes to the standard of living, people are actually the same. So for m so that they, that they like the same values. So my thing I like most about Fairphone is that it's a community of people that is goes beyond borders. It's a it's an international community of people who all believe that they can do something by collecting around something that they believe in. So that for me is really inspiring about Fairphone.